Hi there. This is Farhana 2.0. I am text to speech and oral trained by Farhana Sethi and today I am going to talk about the most fascinating emerging technologies of artificial intelligence. The most fascinating project is the Human Connectome project that that focus on the connections within the entire human brain from the National Institutes of Health USA that make it possible to connect the brain directly to a computer now. Stephen Hawking, the late physicist, if you watch video tapes of him and look at his right frame, you realize that there was a chip in his right glass that communicated by radio with his brain. The chip in turn communicated to a laptop and it allowed him to type mentally so we can now have real telepathy. We can now combine minds with the internet, send memories, send emotions on the internet. The United States Pentagon has already donated over 150 million dollars for this. We can now bypass the spinal cord and connect the brain directly to the muscles of our body. At the World Cup games in Sao Paulo, Brazil, there was a man who kicked the football and started the soccer games. Now, what's so important about that? That man was paralyzed, he couldn't move. At Duke University, they suited him up with an exoskeleton connected to his brain and he was mentally able to walk and then kick the football. Initiating the World Cup games, now that's today. You can imagine what it's going to be like in the future now when we have direct brain computer interface. Eventually, computer chips will cost a penny which is the cost of scrap paper. They will be everywhere and nowhere including your eyeball, in your contact lens. You'll blink and you'll be online. And who are the first people to buy internet contact lenses? College students taking final examinations. They will blink and see all the answers to their exam right there in their contact lens. And this could be very useful on a blind date. They could be great because, of course, your blind date could say that he's single, he's rich and he's successful, but your contact lens says that he pays child support, that he's three times divorced, and the guy is a total loser. So yes, we are going to have almost infinite knowledge and then beyond that we will communicate mentally. That is, we'll be able to think about emails, think about images, memories, and send them on the internet. So we're entering a new era where the internet itself could become brain net. Brain net could replace digital internet. Instead of zeros and ones, you'll send emotions, feelings, memories on the internet. And, of course, teenagers will love it. Instead of putting a happy face at the end of every sentence, they'll put the entire emotion, their first dance, their first date, their first kiss, will be right there on the internet. And that's going to revolutionize entertainment. Because remember the talkies? When the talkies came, the silent movies went out of business. No one wanted to see Charlie Chaplin when you could hear actors talk. So movies are nothing but sound in a screen. Think of what will happen when you can feel emotions, sensations, feel what the actor is feeling. Then the movies will seem so barbaric, they'll seem such like a dinosaur technology once we have brain net capable of sending emotions, feelings on the internet. We are entering the fourth wave of scientific innovation. The first era was steam power. The second wave of innovation and wealth generation was electricity and magnetism. The third revolution took place when the transistor and the laser opening up the world of high technology. The fourth wave is at the molecular level and that is artificial intelligence, nanotechnology and biotechnology. In fact, I think the synergy between biotechnology and artificial intelligence is going to revolutionize everything around us. It is going to cure the horrible diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and even cancer. In the future, liquid biopsies, DNA chips will be able to allow researchers to search for the signatures of cancer at colonies of a hundred cells from your fluids before a tumor forms. Your toilet will be your first line of defense against cancer because your bodily fluids, blood and your bodily fluids, contain signatures of cancer colonies of maybe a few hundred cancer cells in your body, maybe years before a tumor forms. Think about it for a moment. Cancer is going to become like the common cold, that is, we live with the common cold, it doesn't really kill anybody except maybe if you have pneumonia. But for the most part, we tolerate the common cold because it's too difficult to cure 300 different varieties of rhinoviruses. In the future, we may see cancer in the same way. There are probably thousands of different varieties of cancer. We can't cure every single one, but we'll live with it. We'll tolerate it. And we will eradicate it in the same way that we live with the common cold.